My name is Joe Minicozzi, and I'm the principal of Urban 3, based in Asheville, North Carolina. What we see time and time again, um, from the smallest main streets and tiny communities of 8,000 people to the largest municipalities um, of over a million people, that we see the core of the cities, the, those walkable downtown environments, um, are the, the highest generators of wealth and revenue for a community. So it doesn't matter the scale of the place um, to, to be productive from a revenue standpoint. Well, there's one of our first projects, we worked in uh, Sarasota, Florida um, with uh, Peter Katz on, uh, on doing an analysis of suburban multifamily versus urban multifamily and just running the numbers on them. This, these are projects that already existed, just running the revenue produced inside the taxes against the costs that, that they were incurring to the municipality and separating them geopositionally, I guess, um, inside the budget. The, uh, the downtown stuff paid off their infrastructure costs um, over a uh, three-year period of revenue. The suburban uh, format took 42 years to pay off its revenue. Now, what happens, the dirty little secret there, is that the roads and infrastructure is generally collapsing around 35 years. So putting that aside, it still hasn't paid off its note um, when a new impact comes due. And that's something people don't isolate to see the cost of those decisions. Um, to look at it a different way, if the city were thinking like a real estate developer, there's an, a return on investment or an ROI. So to put that in terms of an ROI, it's an 18% return rate for the urban pattern. It's a 2% return rate for the suburban pattern. So it's not even keeping up with inflation. So think of it in other terms, like if you were to have a savings account, would you want an 18% return rate or a 2% return rate? So conversely, the market is choosing the opposite because we're not asking for that fiscal note to come due. We're not charging them for that infrastructure. So of course they're gonna take that deal. Um, I really enjoy the, the new Partners for Smart Growth Conference because of the diversity of, of folks that, that come here. You get public officials, you get folks uh, working at the federal level, um, you get practitioners, you get policymakers. And I think that the, the interest of this organization and this conference to really try to get to what the real solutions are and how to provide for community wealth and revenue is, is forefront in, in, in this organization.